This shoe right here is probably one of the most popular shoes on the market right now, and I can see why. Yo guys, what is good? Zach Ragi back at it again, and today we have another episode of Toilet Reviews. A series where I put a shoe on a toilet, then review it for all of you guys out there. So for today's episode, we have these guys right here. So these are the Adidas Samba OG in the classic black colorway. So very trendy and classic shoe right here. So without further ado guys, let's see if these are worth the hype. Let's get straight into the review. So these are TikTok's favorite shoe right now. You've probably seen a million how to style videos or reasons why you should be buying these for summer 2023. So they're widely seen as a trendy fashion shoe and I believe a lot of popularity and hype behind the shoe comes from a lot of big name celebrities seen wearing these as well as so many dope collabs that have used this shoe like the sporty and rich and kith collaboration with Clarks as well but what a lot of people actually don't know about this shoe is that it has a rich history dating back to the late 1940s when it was initially released as a football shoe or boot. I don't know exactly what to call it. Maybe you football players can correct me in the comments down below. But it was released as such for the 1950s FIFA World Cup in Brazil where it actually got its inspiration for its name because the samba is a type of music genre slash type of dance originating from Brazil. So Adidas named the shoe the Samba to appeal to the people of Brazil for the World Cup and that's how it got its major popularity back then because it was an instant classic. So that's sort of a condensed history lesson for you guys there. I would really suggest looking up the full history of the shoe because it's awesome and it's a really great story but I just think it's crazy that all these years later the shoe is still so popular and it's actually stayed in Adidas's roster from back then all the way until now so that's just amazing. Now moving on to the material and it's very basic as it features a full grain leather upper on the underlay as well as some suede overlays on the toe area. And you'll also notice the classic three stripe and samba branding on the side of the shoe so the leather and suede used feel very soft to the touch making it comfortable on foot and they both have good quality actually. And because of how good the materials are this just makes the shoe way more versatile in my opinion so if you want to dress this shoe up or down so if you're going for that more elevated look versus that more casual athleisure look this shoe has got you covered so this just makes the shoe more worth it for me to buy in my opinion at least and especially over other trendy shoes like the nike dunk for example because that shoe had terrible quality materials guys like some of the leather they use on those shoes just felt like cheap plastic on foot. But just like many older models, cushioning wasn't very prevalent due to the lack of tech in the shoes, and that's exactly the case with the Adidas Samba. So what we have here is just a rubber cup sole and an insole. That's all you're getting for cushioning. And although it's not the greatest, it's no different from a Nike Dunk or Converse Chuck Taylor or even a pair of Vans old school. So you'll probably wear it anyways and get used to the feeling. But if you really wanted to, you could always replace the insoles within the Sambas and replace it with a very comfortable insole or orthotic just to make the shoes more comfortable for your liking. Moving along to the outsole, we have that traditional Samba traction pattern that made it so popular with all the football players and it was initially designed with the harsh European winter in mind. And finally for fit, they do feel narrow, but I went through to size on these so I'm normally a 10, that's what I got with the Sambas, and they fit me just fine. But wide footers try these on because you might want to go a half size up. But overall guys, moment of truth, I personally don't think these are worth the hype unfortunately. To me, it's just such a basic and simple shoe. There's really nothing special about it at all, unless you're getting the collaboration pairs, but even then, all you're getting from those pairs are slightly better materials, different colorways, and just a higher price tag. So all in all, guys, just not worth it for me in my opinion. So I am happy, however, that this shoe is now in the limelight because it's replacing the Nike Dunk and New Balance 550 finally. So we're finally over that era of shoes and into the new era with the Adidas Samba OGs back here. So let me know what you think about these in the comments down below. Do you think that they're worth the hype? Comment down below and let me know. So we're at that point in the video, guys. Now it's time for hashtag Zakuragi what you rock and so for today guys i have the adidas 
BYW Select right here in the Galen Green Philippines colorway. One of my favorite hoop shoes to play in right now. If you haven't seen my video on that, link will be up here. But that's it for today, guys. I appreciate each one of you guys for watching. I'm signing out. Peace.